Dr. Jarrett Riddick leads the Army's vehicle technology research efforts at Aberdeen Proving Ground, Maryland. The Army recently stood up the Army Futures Command, and with that, the U.S. Army Combat Capabilities Development Command's Army Research Laboratory, known as ARL, has undergone transition. ARL's Vehicle Technology Directorate, or VTD, delivers technology solutions for ground, air, robotics, autonomy, propulsion systems, and more. To borrow a phrase, the state of VTD is good. We are well positioned within key objective and technology areas for the Army, and the future is very bright. ARL's open campus extended sites play a key role in helping to move the research forward. Well, it's a fundamental change to a lot of folks in the laboratory and how we do business. No longer can we think about what we do simply in terms of one community. I think now we have multiple communities that we have to engage. Um, I'm seeing more and more uh, than I've ever seen in my career um, subject matter experts engaging with senior levels of military leadership in a way that I haven't seen before. Riddick is optimistic about the future of VTD and its people. I am so impressed by the people of VTD and it's not just a slogan when I say that VTD is great people doing great work to support the future warfighter. There are so many examples of people in this directorate who are doing the work that will make possible this battlefield of the future that senior leaders imagine when they talk about robots on the battlefield and, and having autonomy and AI on the battlefield. As a leader, I think it's my job to set the conditions and provide the environment for these people to be able to deliver the outcomes for the warfighter of the future. As we build those academic partnerships between the lab and folks in those regions, um, we know, as I stated before, that the laboratory has long-term objectives, 2035 and beyond. But I also want to engage industry partners very aggressively. Um, and when we do that, we know that industry partners have a shorter timeline when they think about return on investment. And in the past, it's been somewhat difficult to get our long-term objectives to mesh with the balance sheet of industry partners. By having the regional sites and areas where we can engage in research shoulder to shoulder with industry partners and academic partners, as we work on those long-term objectives, exceptional pieces of technology that can come out of those partnerships can be spun out into the hands of an industry partner very quickly. And this really gets at the Army Futures Command goal of moving technology from discovery to the, actually the hands of a warfighter even faster. The directorate recently established a relationship with Uber. Uber and ARL VTD are working jointly with an ARL South partner at University of Texas at Austin. And we're working on specific technology for vertical lift that will allow us to have silent operation quiet rotor technology um, that is built around um, for the urban air mobility market, giving them quiet operation in urban settings. But we've envisioned for the future of UAS that this type of capability will give us quiet operation in the battle space, which could give tactical advantage for the soldier. Two of the Army's modernization priorities depend upon vehicle technology, future vertical lift, and next generation combat vehicles. It sets the stage for an organization like VTD to, to have significant impact. I'm very optimistic based on the technology focus areas that we are working in, the different essential research programs of ARL that, that VTD touches and the ones that we lead, and based on our core program, based on our talent, uh, based on our reach through um, ARL regional campuses, that we are well positioned to take advantage of the moment.